What is going on, everyone? My name is Steve Janisak. I'm the tech coordinator down here at the KW in Maplewood, New Jersey. And this time I'm back to show you guys how to utilize QR codes for your landing pages and basically for any sort of websites that you might want to attach them to. If you're not already familiar with what a QR code is, um, it's those little square um, pixelated boxes that you've seen. You've probably seen them on, now they're using them a lot for um, menus and restaurants after COVID. So it's a contactless way of pulling up a web page on your mobile device. So it says here, QR, QR codes are an easy solution for sharing URLs with an audience. And essentially, for this reason, they, uh, they make for really powerful marketing tools, but that's not to say their uses can't be exploited by everyone. So QR codes can be used for, let me just mute my notifications here. Do not disturb. Always on. Sorry about that. So you can see that um, they can be used for just about anything, but they make a really effective tool if you're having, say, an open house and you create a landing page. Um, you can basically display this QR code and encourage your um, potential clients to come in, scan the QR code via the landing page, and then say to them if they want to put in their information at the bottom of the landing page in the lead capture form, then you can follow up with them and you can follow up with them using your command. So this, this article, which I'm going to include in the um, text below the video, so you guys can actually check out this article. I found this one pretty simple to go in and to um, turn on QR codes in Google Chrome. So it says that it is possible to generate a QR code in Chrome without any external help. So basically you're gonna open Chrome, you're gonna enter Chrome colon slash backslash backslash flags in the URL bar. So we're gonna do Chrome colon slash slash what did it say flags 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 okay and that brings up this page here and basically this outlines a lot of the features that are available in chrome and right up top here you'll you'll see enable sharing page via via qr code mine's already enabled so you're just going to go in here and enable it and this will show you exactly what to do here. It may have already been on default, but you want to put you want to enable it because it's not. It says here it's not on by default, so you're just going to enable it and then relaunch Chrome. And then once Chrome opens up again, navigate to a web page of your choosing, place your cursor in the URL bar, and you should notice a few icons on the right. So you can see up here if you click on the URL bar, a bunch of icons over here. And this is your QR code. So now you can generate a QR code for any website that you want. Okay, and it's gonna have the little dinosaur in the middle because it is Google Chrome, and that is kind of their little logo guy. And the browser will immediately generate a QR code for the website and you can quickly download it. And basically you could go down here to download and then it will download a photo or basically a photo, a JPEG of your QR code. And then you can print it, use it in anything, pretty much anything you want. You could drop it in a text message. That's actually another way you could uh, market your website is to drop the QR code in a text message if you wanted to. And then people, well, actually dropping it in a text message probably wouldn't do a whole lot. You would rather drop the link. Sorry about that. But you could promote it that way basically by putting it anywhere that somebody would be able to scan it. And obviously you want to check it out. Um, and in case you're not already familiar with how to scan a QR code, if you pull up your, it's, I'm, I have an iPhone and all I need to do is open the camera, scan the QR code with the camera. And then on the top, it'll show like a little notification box. You click on that and that takes you directly to the website for which of which the QR code is for. So basically to do a landing page, in case you guys aren't already familiar, we're going to go over here to consumer. I've got a bunch of landing pages already created in here. Um, you can refer to my video on how to create a landing page if you're not quite sure on how to put one together. So suppose I wanted to do
do a QR code for this particular landing page. I would basically pull up the landing page. I would go up here, click inside the box where the where your your, uh, your link is, your web address, and click on this QR code option right here. And there's a QR code. So now anytime anyone scans this QR code, it's automatically gonna bring them to this landing page. And again, you could do it for your KW site. So if I went to my agent site here, there's my link. I was like, where was it? So if I wanted to get my, if I wanted to get a QR code to promote my agent website, I could simply go here, click up here, and there's the QR code for my agent website. So now you know how to create a QR code for just about any website. You can do this for anything too. It doesn't even necessarily have to be business oriented. You can create a QR code to market just about anything online. So if you guys have any questions on how to utilize QR codes or anything else with uh, regarding KW command, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help you guys any way I can. Thanks for watching.